And this is gonna be a real relaxed video, so I'm not using the big camera, cause I'm, this is my self care day, I'm relaxing. And that shit is not, not relaxing. So I'm about to do my, my feet. No, yes, yes. No, that's the thing that I was not trying to do. That's the thing that almost not made me do the video. <laughs> I'm not shaving, cause I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm doing my feet. I'm doing my nails. I'm taking a shower. I, I don't need, I'm gonna, I'm doing my face. I'm doing everything else. I don't need to shave. I don't need to shave. No, 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 no. No, that's too much work. That's so much work. And then I don't want to shave because I want to get my pussy waxed and I want to get my legs waxed for me, pussy and legs. But, um, so I'm not shaving. I bought this foot basin on Amazon. And here is some hot water, some, fuck, I feel like it's getting cold. I'm going to boil some water so that it stays hot while I'm talking. So in here, I have a couple drops of coconut vinegar. I don't use apple cider vinegar or regular vinegar. I only have coconut vinegar and I actually think that it works wonders on my feet. I don't know if it'd be killing bacteria or whatever it'd be doing, but it'd be doing what it'd be doing and I think it's great. And I have a little concoction of cacao butter. I tried to make some beautiful whipped cacao butter um, and I tried to whip it with some avocado oil and this is how it came out. How chunky as fuck. I wouldn't say that this is whip shaped. It's not smooth at all. I think I over whipped it and it started to solidify again when it cooled down. I don't really know what happened here. I tried to use this as a body butter, but it's hard to scoop out. So I mostly use it in the foot bath. Aw, oh, damn, I should probably put on pants. I'd be very comfortable in my house. My vagina be out. It just be me, my boyfriend, and my cat. Well, two cats. Crusty ass feet. As you can see, there's dead skin all over it. Uh, dead skin over there in the corner. It's, oh, Jesus. Nah, I'm cutting this out. Y'all can't see this. Mm. My toes, let's say my toes look wild. So right now I'm just going ahead and taking off the nail polish. I'm really getting in there and I'm really scrubbing, scrubbing my feet. Uh, using my Tweezerman foot scrubbing tool. This shit gross. It's all dead skin. Yeah, so I'm really getting in there scrubbing. Probably scrubbed for maybe 20, 20 minutes. Um, both feet, sheesh. Listen. I had to get underneath the toenails, get the dead skin that was underneath the toenails. I'm using a hairpin, which is probably not that sanitary, but you know, whatever. Also use some callus clippers to get the dead skin around my nail. I filed down my nails, I buffed them. I really like spent some time and I like, put some love and energy into my toenails. Now they still crusty, they still very crusty, but there was only so much that I could do. Um, I'm gonna exfoliate in the shower, so. Okay, so now that I finally have some respectable Ish looking toenails. It's not the final product, but it looks better than it did before. I'm about to take a shower, and in the shower, I'm gonna wash my hair. I have a hair mask in my hair that's been in my hair for maybe three days now. I'm naked. This is the mask that I currently have in my hair. This is the shampoo I'm using. And I haven't protein treated in a little while, so this is what I'm gonna use in the shower and then rinse it out. Before I forget, uh, this is what I'm gonna use in the shower. So I have 
my everyday uh, unrefined shea butter body wash. Um, I found this brand in Whole Foods and they are black owned. This is from West Africa and I love their brand. I also use their lotion as you're gonna see later on in the video. And I also have this body scrub that I'm gonna use. I also got this from Whole Foods. And this is also soap. These are all supposed to be like very minimal ingredients. This is all the ingredients in the body wash. Like, it's all vegan, no this, no that. So that's why I really mess with it. I'm not out of the shower. Um, the products that I mentioned that I've been using on my body is this softening sweet almond oil oil that I got from Whole Foods. I use this a lot. I'm actually almost done with this bottle. I'm gonna have to get a new a new one soon. Once again, Alifa. Um, this is their lemongrass body lotion. So I like to use these. And then for deodorant, I use Schmitz, the rose of vanilla. It's supposed to be aluminum free. So right now I'm going in with the sweet almond oil. I like to go in with that first sealing the moisture from um, the shower and then afterwards I go ahead and start rubbing in the Alifa. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong, but the lemongrass lotion. Oh, if I control the weather, then every day would rain on your And of course I'm going to do the same thing to my feet and then I like to put a sock on because I hate slipping and sliding. Now what I'm about to do is wash my face and brush my teeth. Because even though it's like, what time is it? 5 It's 2.30, but I still haven't brushed my teeth, so I'm about to brush my teeth and wash my face. And then I'm going to make lunch. After I make lunch, I'm going to do my hair. Start off with my CeraVe Hygiene and Cleanser. Uh, wash my face with cold water. So I'm showing you guys um, all the products here, but if you really want an in-depth um, tutorial, not tutorial, but like an in-depth as to why I use each product and what each product is supposed to do and all that stuff, uh, check out this other video that I have. I've been wanting to do a review on this but like it's basically what you see right here the thing I love about this lip scrub is the fact that it's in a tube because all you have to do is rub it around instead of dipping your finger in it and then boom now you have it now I look like someone that loves and cares deeply about themselves so I am going to now go make lunch I made my favorite meal right now, which is, what is this? Teriyaki mushrooms, uh, quinoa, but you know what? I'm gonna do a voiceover because I fucked that up crazy. <laughs> So Donovan and I were having a wild ass conversation, I guess, in the middle of me filming this. So I left like a snippet of it um, just for y'all, I guess, to hear what we was talking about. Um, and then I'm going to just go on with the hair routine that I normally do. Once again, I do have a dedicated hair video, so I'm not going to really go in depth with all the products I'm using. This is just kind of like to show y'all what I do on my self care day when I really want to like, you know, love myself and make myself feel really good. If I put myself in that scenario, I'm like, a girl, I wake up and a girl has me tied to a bed. Yo, you know I'm about to rape you. I'm like, oh my God, she gonna fuck me in my ass. <laughs> and she gets on top of me, that starts riding my dick, and I'm like. <laughs> written on me card robbing on a glass bowl i've been falling three my ladies in the counter now i'm already out already on the countdown i'ma set it right got the backlash written on me cold running from the pole pole and it's on me don't know which way we're going now i don't want to know it might as well be going down i don't want to know it so now oh i'm gonna show you my feet this is how the bottom of my feet looks after being scrubbed. Um, I took off my sock and I made Donovan touch my feet, like touch the heel of my feet. And he was like, mm. 
you know it's smooth but it's dry and I felt it I'm like it is dry so I think that I have to soak my feet I have to soak my feet more often than I currently do which is like once uh, man to be completely honest I only soak my feet when my feet gets really bad so right now this is my feet looking like a normal human's feet not a lot of dead skin it's mostly scrubbed off this is why you have an iPhone too this is how my toes are looking they're not ashy they're just they just need this more consistently yes okay now I'm getting ready to paint my toenails and some of you may notice that my toenails are um, kind of yellow um, this is like my first time really growing out my toenails to this length so same thing happened to my fingernails um, where they are yellow for some reason up until like a certain amount of new growth and then they clear out so my toenails are still in the process of growing out into being fully clear looking like candy apples. I had to go back in and clean them up. Now I'm gonna do my fingers. Yeah and I have a lot of dark spots on my body so if y'all know what would help with that that's not like overly like abrasive and chemically let me know because I want to get rid of these dark spots. And the last thing that I'm doing today are my eyebrows. Um, I, I don't have thick eyebrows. My eyebrows are actually very sparse, but I do. I feel ugly if I'm if my eyebrows are not done. Like whenever my eyebrows are not done, they just I don't know. I, I feel raggedy when I look in the mirror. I'm not really fucking with what I see. And then whenever I do them, it's like it's a completely different thing. Like I have my confidence back. I look in the mirror and I feel like I'm I'm the shit. Like you know, like I'm really I be feeling cute. Yeah, I really think that a self-care day is doing whatever makes me feel good and whatever makes me feel confident and happy in myself. So like taking that extra time to work on my dark spots, work on my dry ass feet, work my eyebrows, like the things that really makes me feel cute when I look in the mirror, my skin glowing and shit. So uh, thank you guys for joining me on my self-care day. And I hope you know y'all be having some bomb skin and some WAP. And you know, Merry Christmas and Christmas cheers to everyone in the middle of all this. Top tier, top floor, top shadow, you are not top five. To be completely 100, these people can't keep me from coming. I'm moving now. What you doing tomorrow? If you want to do it, I say you get to it now. I see the view from the top of the podium out of your sodium wingspan. I am the they itching to see when you're sitting with me, you a wingman.